ILTV Plus, your news from Israel and more 24-7. Start your free trial today. Subscribe at ILTV.tv and watch from any device. Now, in other news, COVID always on the mind, but far from the only disease begging attention. Over 420 million people around the world are suffering from diabetes, mostly in poorer and lower income communities. Meantime, one and a half million deaths every year directly attributed to the disease, and the numbers of affected are only growing. In Israel alone, at least one million Israelis are projected to be diabetic by 2040. So Barilan University now launching a major $75 million project on combating diabetes with a focus on the northern Galilee region, where cases number nearly three times higher than the national average. Joining me with the details is Dr. Sivan Spitzel, Deputy Director at the Russell Berry Galilee Diabetes Sphere at Barilan University. Dr. Spitzel, thank you so much for joining us. Uh, you know, how did you get to this issue? What prompted the university's focus on this? Well, I think uh, it's the university's unique location. So the Azraeli Faculty of Medicine, which launched, uh, of course, a, as part of Bar Ilan University, the, the Galilee Diabetes Sphere Initiative, the Russell Berry Galilee Diabetes Sphere Initiative, is located in the heart of the Galil, uh, in the city of Tzfat. And uh, we are celebrating our 10th year of being here in this region and as being really part of this the fabric the unique fabric of the galil we really see these day-to-day -day problems of how can we address the i would say the intersection between medicine and society because when you live in the heart of the galil you really see the two interact together we see disparities in health outcomes access to health of populations in the Galil in comparison to the center of the, of the country. So when we thought what would be a strategic area for the Faculty of Medicine to intervene, to make a difference, diabetes is a wonderful model of inter for intervention from the chronic disease. Because when we look at what affects diabetes, you can account for it, not only the genetics of, of a person's background, a person's genetics, but you can also look at his social circumstances or her so social circumstances um, of affecting the disease in terms of lifestyle. Do they have access to healthy foods? Do they have access for, to places to exercise? And when you look at social peripheries, you actually see the morbidity and mortality of diabetes to be much higher, not only in Israel, but across the world. So we thought this would be a true area where the faculty of medicine can be, make a difference and be a true engine for change. All right, so tell me a little bit more you know, about the project itself. How, how is it designed and what is it hoping to find or achieve specifically? So SPHERE is actually an acronym, and it's an acronym for Social Precision Medicine Health Equity Research Endeavor. And it's the coming together of partners from across disciplines and partners from across health institutions and institutions in general. And I would say at the heart of SPHERE, really what lies at the heart of SPHERE is integration. How can you get all the different stakeholders around the table to make a difference? The level of intervention that SPEAR intervenes is the municipal level of trying to make a difference in not only focusing directly on the patient, but also looking at, at the infrastructure to make sure that people have the ability to attain their full health potential. And to do so, we really come together, Ministry of Health, uh, health maintenance organizations, hospitals, Ministry of Education, municipalities, as I said, working together to create an infrastructure for people to improve their lives. So we'll be intervening in the first phase. It's a $75 million project, as you mentioned, across 10 years. This gives us the opportunity to not only test our model as proof of concept, but also to do scale up. So in the first phase, we'll be intervening in five cities across the Galil, Nazareth, Nofa Galil, Shfa'am, Sakhnin, and Sfat. We will be working with diverse, diverse populations, diverse municipalities of really trying to make, an, uh, and I'll give a concrete example. Mm -hmm. If you want to improve and prevent diabetes, you talked about numbers of the projected 1 million patients in 2040, right. but today we see not only 600,000 diabetics, type 2 diabetics in Israel, we also know that there's close to a million more who are uh, diagnosed as pre-diabetic. So it's really only, we only see the tip of the iceberg. So in order to prevent the, the conversion rate from pre-diabetes to diabetes, you really have to work on prevention. To do so, you have to make sure that you have the infrastructure, the proper infrastructure. So if you see a high uh, rate of pre-diabetes in a certain neighborhood, but people don't have the place to, access, to exercise, how can you make sure to do so? So working with municipalities, being able to see clinical data 
uh, as well as uh, data around infrastructure, having an urban planner on our team, not only physicians, for example, uh, so we don't, not, don't only have the clinical, but we also have the different um, social aspects, as I said, planning, urban planning and so forth, we're able to create wide interventions plans. When we're, you're working in social peripheries, another main issue is access, access to care. Uh -huh. So if you're a type two diabetic, you have to do an annual checkup. But when we look at the data and we see adherence uh, to checkups across these populations, and that means going to once a year to an eye doctor and doing your blood work, you see really a low adherence and um, people don't really do that checkups. It also takes a lot of time. You have to go to different physicians to do these checkups. So we're constructing a mobile unit, which is a one-stop one -stop shop unit where people will be able to, to go and do their checkups in one hour. So we'll be able to bring the unit to a certain neighborhood when we see low adherence to annual checkups for type two diabetics and make sure that within the hour, different patients can access the care they need. So those are just two examples of some of the work Sphere will be doing. All right, wow, well, this is certainly an exciting project. I'm very excited to see where this goes. Uh, you know, good luck on this study, and thank you so much uh, for joining us. Thank you.